you know, whatever your passion is, you know, you know what I mean? Just go for it. Mm-hmm. You, know? you know, if if it, if that's your passion, um, kind of hard to fail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No matter what level you you're at, you know, as long as you love doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then easy. Then, then, easy then, for yeah. wake up every day. Do that. To yeah. do what yeah. you love. Yeah. yeah. What's up, everybody? This is Curtis Pooley here bringing you your Real Talk Maui podcast. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm here with my cousin, Brad. What's up, everybody? And my brother, Jonah. Yes, sir. And yeah, so another wonderful guest we have on. Um, it's an honor to introduce this guest. Uh, one of the hardest working men mm-hmm. on Maui. Um, thankful that, you know, he's in my life and um, thankful for everything that he has done for me. Uh, big shout out to my dad. Um Mr. Kyle Francia. What's up, Dad? What's up, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up Kyle? What's up, boys? Thank you guys for having me tonight. <laughs> Thank you yes, for coming. Truly a pleasure. Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Automatic. Automatic. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Oh, wait. I bought one gift. Oh, oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, for the podcast. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Yeah, it's only right. I feel like if we pour one shot right of now, course, bro. it got to be bro. right. It's oh, a real talk. Bro. How it's convenient. Like, we have yeah. shot glasses oh, yeah, right okay. here. Shoot. We're pouring a shot right hey, here yeah. live Drink on the, responsible. On the brass. <laughs> Drink, Drink responsible. But while, while Jonah um, pours that, though, Unks, just kind of tell you, tell us what you stay up to, Unks, right now. Of course, uh, you, yeah, you, we know you drive a truck and stuff. Oh, but yeah, you, what you yeah. stay up to? Yeah. Um, nah, just working my... Um, my regular day job and then also supporting Bryson with uh, bee hauling mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and just kind of going through going through everything you know yeah. um, ups downs you know around mm-hmm. the corners whatever whatever comes you know I thank God for you know whatever comes our way yeah um, truly blessed mm-hmm. you know of course. definitely yeah 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 well now that that's it that can yeah, I just do eat it. this right here for the whole platform? <laughs> Wait, it's blocking me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you for being here. Anyways, yeah, first off, for our sponsors. To yep. our yeah, sponsors, yeah. Custom it- Eagles. <laughs> and by the way, this is our first shot. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Uncle Kyle. Cheers, Uncle Kyle. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Woo! Ah, water. All right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Curtis Cooley. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> anyway, bro, like and subscribe. Thank yeah, you, guys. Real Talk Molly, we up. <laughs> right on. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. Make sure the AC stay going good. <laughs> Fan going. Yeah. It's about to get hot in here. So. Yeah. No, but that, um, before we get started, you know, or before we dive into later on, you know, trucking and stuff, uh, give us one quick origin story, you know, where... You was born and raised in Maui and all that stuff. Just for everybody that don't know you, you know, mm-hmm. and a little bit of the history where you come from. So, um, well, I was born in um, Kailua, Maui. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, between Hoelo and Kenai. You know, you guys never know where Kailua was because it's super small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You Deep know, east and uh, yeah. far out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, definitely, you blink your eye, you already, you already passed on my way. Spent a lot of my younger childhood over there. Um, shared time with um, my grandma guys in Oahu. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of split the year between Maui and Oahu because my, my dad is originally from Oahu. Mm-hmm. And uh, moved out to Paia, I, I believe, early elementary, maybe third, fourth grade, fifth mm-hmm. grade even. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was like about fifth grade. Yeah. Were you guys in live in Paia? Ah, oh, shoot, we live in a couple places, but I mm-hmm. think the first uh, place we lived in was right behind Nagata store. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, no more Nagata store, no more. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, for yeah, the guys that know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Guarantee guys. Yeah. yeah, for you young guys, yeah, Nagata <laughs> store. Um, but Paia was, um, was heavy, you know, coming up from Kailua, from, you know, country. That was like country, yeah. country. Mm-hmm. Culture shock, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Um, not really culture, because back then, everything was still kind of mellow. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Paia was going through its hippie phase. Um, and I feel like it's still going through the hippie phase. <laughs> and haiku. Haiku and Paia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I think um, right now it's the, like, uh, surf culture, youth kind mm-hmm. of, you mm-hmm. know, thing, you know. Yeah. 
yeah. where the kids trying to find themselves or mm-hmm. believing that you know they that's who they are yeah you know um yeah. but hey that's that's their that's their, their own trip yeah yeah that's their trip. deal yeah mm-hmm. um respect that yeah you know i was truly happy when we had um new people come in um because Payo, everybody knew everybody about mm-hmm. you know you couldn't do nothing without anybody finding out mm-hmm. yeah. you know you walk through somebody's yard yeah. Next thing you know, you go home, you're like, oh, what? You walked to, you know, <laughs> so and so's yard today. <laughs> we don't ask you permission. I was like, eh. And that's before cameras, right? Yeah. So, like, that's before cameras. Yeah. Like, they watch you through the window the whole duration and don't say nothing. <laughs> and they report to you after. Yeah. But, you know, that's like good old days. Like, you know, um, you used to have like um, Ikeda's, uh, Dr. Ikeda, who was a dentist. Mm-hmm. You know, you teach so, you know, you might go, oh, was he doctor? You know, and you say, oh, Defrancho. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You know, my teeth are okay. Fix, fix your teeth, and then pay later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even like cut your hair. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everybody through. take care of everybody. Yeah. Else. You go to Ga- Garcia's barber shop. Like you, you know, you just go by yourself. Sit down. You know, no more sleep or nothing. Like <laughs> yeah. what, boy? Would, would you haircut? Yeah. You know, can. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Cut your, cut your hair and your model guys pay yeah. later. Yeah. Everything was more way more honest. Back yeah. Then. Well, yeah. I feel like back in those days, like even when. Um, like well, just from movies, watching movies, and back then, um, they would send us send a kid to the grocery store with mm-hmm. a list. They get all the groceries, they come back, and then the, the guy already know. Okay, this is credited kind. You know yeah. the 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 or the mother gonna follow, or they're gonna come back pay for them at yeah. the end of the month yeah, or something. Like that. No, yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Like there was this store called Haruchi Market. Um, to me, to till today, the best uh, pork chops. Mm. Pork chops. Yeah, yeah, because it, it was like a meat market plus grocery store. But yeah, they had like mm-hmm. um honor system. You know what I mean? Honor system. Yeah. yeah that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Write down whatever you get and then tell your mom to come see me, you know what I mean, a yeah. couple of weeks or yeah. at the end of the week or something. Yeah. 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 And it's crazy like that they would show up, yeah. Like yeah. Pay them, huh? yeah. yeah. You know, or else you your credit gonna yeah. get caught there. Yeah. You know? So where, where exactly is that? Like what is that by? Like like nowadays, like what is that by? So if you're rolling to Paya and you go up Baldwin, um it's oh sorry. No, yeah, you good. Uh it's hard to explain, but it's like right in the right after Paya Fish Market mm-hmm. on the right hand side, maybe about two, three stores up. I think I believe that there's a um bikini shop. Mm-hmm. And then there's a road. No, yeah, you right because yeah. I know what road you're talking about, and it looked like yeah. they're random houses right up yeah. that road. Like, yeah, you know, no, just exactly. Out of there nowhere. is, ra- yeah, yeah, there you is go random to the houses. Bikini shop all the time here. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play Charlie's all the time, so you know, late night walking down that road, like, hey, yeah. bro, what the heck is this random? Yeah, road? yeah, where, where am I? <laughs> well, is that um, like kind of where picnic to us? No, more down, more down, okay, okay more okay. down. Mm-hmm. But yeah, miss. I mean, it was such a special time to grow up in, yeah. you know, in special yeah. place. I mean, a lot of people would maybe disagree with me, but, you know, your hometown is your hometown. You mm-hmm. can back them up 110%, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, yep. and that's, that's what you know and love yeah. till today, you know. And how, how was it growing up with, like, all oh, Uncle Dam and, you know what I mean, in yeah. Paia, like, kids kind, like, not yeah. teenage, but, like, you know, as kids, like, what you guys used to do? Because yeah. you guys, wait, you guys was in Skill Village when you guys, when you was? No, no, no. No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. We never that had was, that much money, boy. <laughs> oh, that was the upper. We were still in the plantation houses. <laughs> okay. But it um, was good. Yeah. It was fun. You know. Um, you used to just go beach a lot. Yeah. Know. Choke beach. Yeah. Choke mm-hmm. beach. Yeah. Choke surf culture. Mm-hmm. Um, um, yeah. What was the stores over there in Paya Town? Eh? Um, At that time. Had you regulars like Paya General, Nagata. Bursa man. Mm-hmm. So Bursa man, yeah, if you played sports or like even if you had good grades, you'd show me a report card and then they would give you like one free IC, you know what I mean, mm. or something. That's, that was like the first place where we mm. we found out Spam was to be. And this mm-hmm. is all like the put you a town where you yep. all the tourist shops now. Yeah. Oh, oh, so Bursa it was mostly like, like grocery yeah. stores and like yeah. Yeah. growing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and if you p- play sports, like I was saying, if you're walking to like we used to go play baseball down Baldwin, so we would have to walk past mm-hmm. persimmons. They would sell you like they would give you like a dollar um, for a hot dog and you know one yeah. IC. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not, yeah. Nowadays it's, yeah, it's unheard of. Yeah, you know? no, for so real. Paying like four dollars for an IC on hot dog. But, but, but not only that, these families you know probably break even at yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, or losing money, but it's for the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, 
Definitely for the kids. If yeah. you come with your report card, you show them you get AIDS, they give you, you know, free stuff. Yeah. You know? It's almost like, you, yeah, you, you're helping them want to do that more, you know, mm-hmm. encouraging them. Yeah. Encouraging yeah. Them. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get rewarded, huh? Like, that's yeah. one big yeah. thing, getting rewarded as a kid. So. Yeah, but they also acknowledge the value of yeah. teaching. Yeah. You know what I mean? Teaching yeah. kids the, the right thing to do, mm-hmm. you know, and, and learn. Yeah. You know, especially mm-hmm. coming from a place like Paia. You know, Paia definitely had um, its, uh, what I like to say, stigma mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. and mm-hmm. Had a reputation for. Had a reputation, exactly. And as, as I grew up, you know, I got caught up in that reputation. Yeah. You know, you, you, cannot, right, you cannot run away from that. Mm-hmm. You know, you cannot run yeah. away from that. It's, it's like, you know, one gang. Yeah. But not one gang. Yeah. You know, like family. Yeah. But they check you if you if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You get out of you get out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Before we even get to that though, like mm-hmm. um when you was going um Paia, like was there you in Paia school? Or yeah. Was there still Hawaiian immersion yet or no. Never even have no, Hawaiian no. immersion yeah. yet then. Never even have okay. have Hawaiian immersion yet, but okay. but what happened was Punane school for um, the handicap shut down because okay. of water or something. It wasn't good. So they had to move to Paiel. Okay. So that was a big adjustment for us kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and How come? Which, because, uh, you know, uh, not knowing what we know now, mm-hmm. being stupid. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Just, yeah, anyway. <laughs> We were, we were stupid back then, mm-hmm. you know. But for you, though, when you guys didn't move from Punene to um, Paya School, was that easier because you were living all the way off deep in? I never moved from Punene to Paya oh, School. Oh, so you, <laughs> I thought that's what you said. No, you, no, no. You asked about Hawaiian <laughs> Emerging. <laughs> Hawaiian <laughs> Emerging wasn't hey, there. Curry, you thought my dad was in yeah. a handicap school? <laughs> You see, oh, like, you gotta like, take shots. <laughs> see what happens. Uh, hey, no drink, huh? <laughs> Let me drink water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, no. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, going to your school, like, how was, um, yeah, how was the culture, like, when you was like going to school, like that? Because when I was going to your school, wasn't like the stories, like how you used to tell me when I was young, how you know everybody was crazy, like, because we used to walk mm-hmm. home from school. Yeah. The way you made them seem like. You know, walking home from school is a big trip that like you have um, guys making any kind, I guess. You know what I mean? Um, my personal experience, uh, Paya School, everything was was fighting. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to be honest. And back then, <clears throat> it's not like, not like now. So my personal experience, there was this uh, bigger, um, bigger kid that was picking on me. And I was um, not having it, mm-hmm. but I wasn't like you know what I mean. Hey, wow, you know this and that. Like I was crying because I was so mad. I ran. There were three houses right next to the Paya School cafeteria, and one of those houses, my friend, in, well, I can say his name, man. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know. Emiliano Lovato. He was home that day. He never come to school, and I would run up to his window. Emiliano, you know, screaming his name and like half crying. So right there, he helped me in the window. He's like, man, what's, what's going on? Da, 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 da. Ah, freaking so-and-so. Say, I cannot, blah, blah, blah. whatever. Mm. He gives me this knife. He's like, here. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Go do what you got to do. I jump out the window, run, straight for the guy, man. But, you know, I would yell out one, one, one scream because I saw one teacher. I wanted her. I wanted her for stop me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I wanted her. So I went, yeah, what? you know, F or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then she saw me and she grabbed me. And it was just kind of like swing. You know what I mean? But nothing happened. I mean, yeah. the guy was like fully scared. The girlfriend <laughs> was crying. Yeah. You know, but basically it was she took the knife away, took me to the principal's office. And I, I believe um, my mom came pick me up, mm-hmm. you know, and so that, that's that was, yeah. that so was the culture. Attentions, yeah, yep. attentions wasn't really, you never really, like, do that. That was just, like, one square right. of the moment. Just the anger, like, the anger. Yeah. Was, yeah, but, again, you know, the culture was, 
Yeah. 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 And then yeah. I, yeah, yeah. you get that and then, okay. Yeah. Roger. You know, <laughs> yeah, handle that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, not only that, there was, you know, not even instances. It, it was like how you guys said, the culture where we had days where it was designated to beat up people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What you mean? Elaborate like, on that. Elaborate like on that. Halloween was knockout Halloween night. Oh, oh. wow. No, front street. Oh, no. No. Right in <laughs> Yeah. Like, you know. And sorry for divulge, but. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's okay. Yeah. All the Hollies watching, like, no wonder why I got <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. Like, literally, we would watch as people try to take their families to restaurants. Yeah, carrying crowbars, tire irons, like honest to God, I swear on the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We, we would take pride off mm. that. Like, yeah, look at them. They, you know what I mean? They're scared. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like guys would literally like stand, you know, against the wall or something like on the sidewalk because, Payo, you know, you got to walk fast the sidewalk. And like, oh, my, my, my turn, my turn. And literally the guys walk by and you just fall scrap them as mm-hmm. hard as you can. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Right. And you know these shitties, man or woman. Yeah. Or, you, you should just catch them no matter who. Yeah, but usually it was just the guys. You know, <laughs> women versus women, but, you know, guys versus guys. Yeah. But still, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that was, uh, that was, like you said, that was the culture back in Paya. that. Yeah, but, you know, also Paya did bring a lot of positive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, you know, I mean, it's not, wasn't all shady. Because, yeah, because you made a lot of lifetime friends. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Absolutely. And, yeah. You know, we Some made, of them. yeah, a lot of gains, you mm-hmm. know, yeah. a lot of gains as we was growing up. Like, you know, there was a surf contest that was, you know, made and, you know, we tried um, canoe paddling I mean the same guys doing that stupid shit was the same guys you know what I mean in the trenches mm-hmm. you know help trying to help all these stuffs you know um, take off yeah 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 you yeah. know for whatever reasons they had you know what I mean but they were still there mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. <clears throat> clean up and this and that you know clean up the town but e- eventually um, my opinion everybody was weeded out yeah. After all oh, the mm-hmm. real, the real, but yeah, people was out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So what? Um. So now going to high school. What high school you went? Maui High. Okay. So how was that? You had to. What Maui High was still old Maui High or was? Oh, it was new Maui High. Oh, okay, okay. So you still was driving all the <coughs> yeah, way to town. Yeah, I'm not that old. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom was the last graduating class. <laughs> okay. So how but was you that? Never know, you never know. <laughs> how was that kind of going from Paiyo school to now you're going Maui High now? So, like, it's just a whole different on, crowd now. Honest, honest to God. So we go, you know how you go, um, what is that, eighth grade, and you go to you the to high fresh. school. Yeah. 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 No, you go orientation. Visit, uh, yeah, orientation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Higashi, I remember this. In the words of Kyaka, vividly. I remember this vividly, <laughs> right now. Shout out to Kyaka. Yeah, yeah. Vividly, bro. So he's reading all the names. Like, oh, I know, uh, whatever. You know, Garcia, yeah, and your sister, this and that. Yeah, I know. Bro. And he literally stops at my name, <laughs> DeFrancio. Who is DeFrancio? <laughs> and I raise my hand. He goes, what? You're not like you about us, eh? But I was ashamed though. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I bet they're calling you on it. Yeah. How many, how many brothers and siblings do you have? So I have six, uh, five brothers, one sister. Okay. Mm-hmm. And at, uh, yeah, so at that time, what is he talking about? Like, you know, I like your brothers. What your brothers was like back then? Um. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? I um, mean, yeah. one was uh, studying uh, neuroscience. He was all talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they was just getting into trouble then. <laughs> um, they they just was living at that, at that time yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Jason graduated already yeah so mm-hmm. yeah. what what um, brother was in school at the same time you was in school <laughs> Uncle Fats oh <laughs> Uncle Kevin and then I came oh okay but for te- I mean to be honest high school was on breeze for me because because of them they came yeah. they set yeah. the they paved the way uh. yeah, nobody messed with you uh. yeah and the guys who messed with me Found out quick, mm-hmm. like who yeah. was my brother, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's shout awesome. out Uncle Dan. Yeah, yeah that that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you the, are yeah. You the youngest? No, no. Uncle Second, Malcolm. second, second youngest. youngest. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Tutu really fighting my battles. <laughs> 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 but yeah, speaking of Maui High, then so you and you and um, my grandpa was your coach or your your, your teacher or he counselor, was, or vice I, principal. <laughs> yeah, I believe he was the vice principal <laughs> when you was going. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a funny story though. Oh so, yeah, going. Yep. Yeah. So, well, I thought I was on the hammer in Pee Wee. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, coming from Haiku Vikings. Uh, <laughs> What so, what was that? Pop Warner? That yeah, was the name. Haiku yeah, Vikings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never know that. Yeah, 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 never, yeah. Haiku Vikings. I think they stopped what after you mean my dad. No Haiku Vikings. Haiku Vikings. Haiku Vikings is in the ledger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come kids, on. kids nowadays don't even know what Pukalani Broncos is anymore. That's true. That's, that's yeah, true. for real. It's all that's Kula Malu, yeah. yeah. That's true. So back back then, Haiku Vikings was nuts, bro. I mean, now you look at the NFL. Now they they put in that rule well. You don't can tackle the ankles, eh? And mm-hmm. roll them like that. True story, bro. I bust one inch off these kids' leg, bro. Permanently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and some tackle. Yeah. Oh. So, what would happen was, yeah, I'm one of the, not all the lighters, but I'm one of the, the veterans. And they line up, like, uh, what is that? Uh, that drill you line on your back. Oh, and chuck and trailer. trailer. Yeah, yeah, chuck and trailer. So, I, I see this kid, brand new, bro. I'm like, bro, like first day, suited Fresh up. Meat, huh? Bro, not like warm up two week kind running around the field. First day, first suit him up in the line. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm going to eat this boy out. So I roll. And he don't know what he's doing, right? I roll. I come up. He's not even getting up, bro. He's just barely turning around. I nail him from not high down. My boss, one inch permanently shatter his leg. Yeah. Hammer. His name Levy. 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 Sorry, Levy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my intention, bro. Did he ever play after that? Or? Hell no. He sued. <laughs> he sued. That's, that was the demise, I believe, of Haiku yeah. Vikings. Mm. Yeah. That was, that, that that was, was the, the end. end. Yeah, that was the end. Wow, Levy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Levy's fault. <laughs> it's the adult that was watching the kids. <laughs> After that, they're like, yeah, maybe we should go away from Haiku. Let's go yeah. Makua and Ma- yeah. Makua. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, bringing it, bringing it back to um, okay, okay. Uh, Maui High. Maui yeah. High. So, you freshman going yeah. in there. So, what's the... What you was asking? Or if you knew your papa? Yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely knew uh, Mr. Curtis Lee. He was our vice principal at the time. So, I was trying out for um, JV football. Mm-hmm. So, um, one of the coaches actually coached me um, in Haiku. Uh, Coach Eddie Lapina, and he was putting on good word. Ah, oh, Roger, Roger, Roger Fong, I think mm-hmm. his name. Okay. He's like, bro, you gotta watch this kid, bro. This kid is on freaking hammer, blah blah blah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, I end up uh, going with your grandpa's niece, who is my wife too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Rashawn. Yeah, Come on. to Rashawn. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. I get called into the the principal's office or the vice principal's office, and uh, <clears throat> I go, he sits me down, and I go, oh, so I hear you uh, got my niece pregnant, so I'm like, huh? <laughs> he let me, oh, Sean is your niece, I guess, yeah. <laughs> you never know at that time. Yeah, yeah, I never know. <laughs> and then he was like, ah, what you do with your life, and you know, you buy a punk and this and that. So I just ate all that, you know, at the time, because you know. He wasn't wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he wasn't wrong. And he can tell it how it is. That's yeah. how my grandpa is. So. Yeah, he, he wasn't wrong. And, you know, he wasn't really, like, disrespectful or anything. No. He just was spitting the truth. And uh, shortly after that, I was kicked you, off you the team. cut? Yeah, I was mm-hmm. cut off the team. Yeah, so it's Chalet's fault that you never have a football <laughs> career. <laughs> Right no, on, Chalet. Hey, I was going places, bro. <laughs> and bro. Chalet ruined it. Yeah, I know, bro. bro. You know how much guys was looking for on 5-5? Five, five? <laughs> <laughs> bro, the Niners would have, the Niners would have been in there, bro, for you. I was like, bro, this guy. I bet, I bet you could shoot, shoot a guy's leg. <laughs> shoot, but with that being said, what position you was? Um, I played corner. I was trying out for oh, corner. Oh, okay. See, yeah. I know. Well, I know. Yeah. Right, because I, I thought Anks was like a yeah. linebacker. No, I analyzed running lot. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, running lot. Yeah. So safety like is almost yeah. like Niners. Yeah. Niners. I, yeah, for real. 
Speaking of that, yep, season coming up. Let's stay tuned. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I gotta say. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Kurt's getting a fall guard. <laughs> after after that, Uncle, like what what you was up to in high school, like what what you would do? Yeah, after you got work, Cut. work, mm-hmm. work. Yeah. Where, where you was know. your where you was working? I was working for Sizzler's restaurant. Oh, 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 I, I remember. Sizzler. Yeah, we yeah. had on Sizzler. Wasn't it the Look at you, we had on Sizzler. Where was? Oh my God, I remember. How am I? Wasn't it the old L House? Yeah, it, it, it was the old house. house. Sizzler, all the all-you-can-eat salad. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> all-you-can-eat salad. Right, it was on Oahu, too, bro, but yeah, I guess it's not. No, yeah. Both no. of them in clothes, huh? Yeah. Here's a shocker. Well, right. we had a Sizzler's, <laughs> and I worked at I worked at that Sizzler's. Um, yeah, I just was working, um, so, you know, support the family, right? Yep. The upcoming family. Yep. Um, work my way up to... Uh, I was dishwasher, busboy, then head busboy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell hey, us, do you have any funny stories from Wait, before you, wait, before oh. you even get to that. Right on, just cut oh. my question. <laughs> wait, before you even get to that, wait. As, uh, I guess we can say that uh, buffets doesn't really last that long in Hawaii. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Not on Maui. Though. Because, or yeah, in Maui. Not after because, Jonah uh, goes, Any yeah. buffets that come in, it does not last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> not in Hawaii, I just had to, I just had to say yeah. that. Uh, not, not in Hawaii, but... Yeah. Barbershop eater. Yeah. <laughs> um, fu- okay, so funny, oh, yeah, funny story. Funny yeah, story. Yeah, funny, yeah. I actually used to uh, sometimes help cook on the line, mm. line cook, and then uh, we were having a party. Uh, outside of scissors. Outside of oh, scissors. Okay. Okay. So I was like, "Bah, I go, I'm gonna get the meat." Okay, shoots. So I tell my friend, "Bah, this certain time, meet me. Uh, not meet me, but stand behind the wall." The wall still exists with the double doors. So he comes in, we chat. I say, okay, okay. In about 20 minutes, go by the wall. Okay. So I I, I wrap up on prime rib. So back then, the prime ribs was cooked like, um, I think, medium rare, right? And then you wanted it um, more than that, and then, you know, we would cut them up and throw them in like a hot aju sauce or whatever. Mm-hmm. So long story short, I'm like, hey, you still over there? Yeah. So I wrap up this whole primary. I fly them over the wall. Okay, shoot, see you guys later. So my manager's about somebody turned me in. So it was like, oh, Kai, we like, we like see you um, count your your meat, your meat count. So open the jaws, New York steaks, whatever, count, count, count. Okay, they check it, check it. Okay, primary. Okay, so they even count. Like if the primary that we were cutting up, there's a certain sis like system to where they can average out, you know, how much slices I got. Mm. So they did that, and then they was counting the the whole pieces. And they, I thought I was going to get busted, bro. Mm. But somehow, yeah, somebody forgot one way back <laughs> in the freaking draw. And they was like, oh. Oh, there's the extra yeah, one. Oh, yeah. oh, get everything. The count is good. <laughs> yeah, so the count is good. But you even forgot them, like, from the night before, look. Like, I don't know. Yeah, for probably a I long time. Know. Was just, yeah. It was God. Yeah, yeah. Hey, God bro. helping me steal that primary. <laughs> was that Thanksgiving or something? No, for a family or something. No, that's, 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 that's so hard. Hey, that's so hard. Hey, 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 God, you're working mysteriously. Yeah, yeah. Mysterious. Yeah. You helped me steal bro. that primary. <laughs> they was they was shocked and I was shocked. I was like, hold on, I'm going I'm going to get fired. <laughs> so that yeah. feeling must be nuts, but like. Oh, I found! I found! No, but you know, that's stupid. After a while, I started believing myself. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I never steal nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the primary was there the whole time. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, like so. One hour ago, you wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, what was your next job after that? Um, I, I wanted to drive truck. Mm. So, I. Um, went to this trucking company called Maui Trucking. Mm-hmm. I worked in the scrap metal yard. Um, you know, just to get in, foot in the door kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, Uncle Jason used to work there as well. He was on truck driver. Even mm-hmm. Uncle Jameson. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, when, yeah. I, that's mm-hmm. when I first met Uncle Jameson. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that was my, my that next was when you That was when you first got into like trucking then. Yeah, well, so. not yet because I was still in a scrap metal yard. Um, I never reached of age. That's when they changed the age to 21. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you had to be 21, and I was like, damn, I just missed it. 
Mm-hmm. So, I but think you're I'll, still around it, like, yeah. like around the guys and yeah, seeing, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. them. And... Yeah, I was getting, I was getting paid like manini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know, just being around it was suffice for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I really yeah. enjoyed the environment, and yeah. even though I was eating dust every day. You know, just being around trucks, I just mm-hmm. loved it. You always yeah. love like semi trucks and stuff. Yeah, what kind yeah. of were you? You don't love <laughs> trucks. Oh, well, like, you always knew you always knew you wanted for you a truck driver. Like, no, um, you just yeah. like trucking, you know? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I just like trucks. Um, so my, like I said, my my oldest brother was driving trucks, and you know, I kind of was like fancy driving trucks, and like, right, this is way back. So and even mom, mom knows his story. It's like, well, how much, how much you make? We standing at the Avis, and Uncle Jay said, bah, I make ten dollars an hour. Mm. He was like, what? <laughs> oh, you make that much? <laughs> Double digits. Yeah, right? <laughs> ten dollars an hour. I'm like, bro, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. even that though, I mean, because I know after that, you ever go straight to Aloha after that? No, no, yeah, no a couple no. other jobs before that. Yeah. So what was you know, I mean, because I know you had me in Chile already. Yeah. You know, so you kind of had to start working and stuff. Yeah. What was, um, what was your life? What was life like for you at that time? Like, you know, having two kids, being that young, trying to, you know, bust your ass for, provide for us, which you did. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, what was, what was life for you like that, at that time? Um, at that time, I was still kind of squirrely. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You know, everything was about the party. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, nothing real serious. Yeah. You know, I knew that your grandparents, you know, was there for take care of you guys if I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Even your mom, you know, yeah. God bless her. Um, but to be honest, while, while I was at uh, Maui Trucking, the owner's wife, you know, run all the paperwork. The wife take care of all the paperwork, you know, just like you, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so um, I needed to sign my W-2 forms. And that was like totally foreign for me. And I was standing there. She was like, oh, you gotta sign this. And I was standing there with a blank look in my face. And then she said, oh, she said, why, you don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. Oh, why don't you just collect on um, food stamps or something like that? That's what she told me. Mm-hmm. Bro, and try ask your mom, she'll tell you. From that day on, I, bro, I came home furious. I said, I will never ever go on food stamps yeah. or welfare. She, welfare, that's what she mm-hmm. said. I would never ever go on welfare mm-hmm. because, of what she, because of what she told me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I thank God, knock on wood. You know, yeah. God has always provided this card. <laughs> God has always um, provided this card. <laughs> yeah. hey, speaking of that, like, even, even my wife, man, like, shout out to the wives because bro, W2s, yeah. I still don't know how to do all of that. But like, and if I never had my wife, I wouldn't know how to do all of that stuff. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All, Thanks, I'm babe. sure all of our wives is Thanks, the babe. same way that they handle all of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so before before you continue, I just sent Aliyah one video of like one comedian saying um, he got a call from the his daughter's teacher. And the, te- the teacher was like, hey, do you know what bus your daughter's on? And he's like, you're calling the dad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Who calls the you call the wife like you yeah, had yeah. my wife's number and my number <laughs> or my wife's number yeah and my number and you called me yeah. like what do you think was gonna happen yeah. <laughs> like I'm not the primary <laughs> call, yeah, call I'm my the secondary <laughs> call yeah. my wife I'm not even the secondary I'm the third yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. call his grandma <laughs> yeah. call her grandma first bro yeah. Yeah. and then he's like yeah you know so yeah anyway I'll come pick her up what school does she go to again <laughs> like <bah. laughs> yeah. we laugh but it's like that one true. video if, I don't know if you guys ever saw the ones like. Mom, where is this? Mom, where is that? Yeah, yeah. Mom, where is that? And then he goes, and then the one question you ask your dad, Dad, where's mom? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to the welfare mm-hmm. story and how you kind of triumph and, from that. And that has been my drive to mm-hmm. today. Yeah. yeah. You know, honestly, I yeah. mean, I have, you know, I've succeeded, I, I have wavered, but always have come back. Um, but. You know, I think someone said if I think it was you, Curtis, earlier. You said if you you want to know a person, you know, look who he hangs around with, mm-hmm. and that is absolutely true. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. that is absolutely true. Yeah, um, we surrounded ourselves with, uh, at our lowest point, which your mom, you know, she gave me an ultimatum. 
She said, choose, you know, choose me or your life, mm -hmm. you know, and obviously I chose you guys, mm -hmm. you know, and the people we chose to surround ourselves with was Kupai and Aha. Our church, yeah. 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 Yeah, our church. Mm -hmm. um, and I, 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 I thank everyone, past, present, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For you know what they have instilled in me mm -hmm. and my family, like my wife, uh, my wife, your <laughs> auntie, your mom, mm -hmm. <laughs> always had that in her, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like I said, you know, I I thank God for that. Yeah, because yeah. I remember, right I remember, even when you started working Aloha, like me and Shade, like we think we only saw you for like maybe in the morning when we say eating breakfast, mm -hmm. getting ready for go to school, and then we yeah. don't see you. After, because you was working doubles, you was, yeah. you know, you was doing what you do for support yeah. us, you know, doing all that. But I also remember mom kind of telling me about a story where, talking about Kupana, mm. telling me a story where you guys kind of hit your bottom. Yeah. You know, I, for, I don't remember the details, but there was a moment where you and mom was like, hit like rock bottom, like lost mm -hmm. some stuff, you know what I mean, lost every whatever. And you guys... Was it like either the next day or something? You guys in prayer, or that day you guys prayed and then you guys started going back to church and, you know, just through God's love, through His, um, what do you, yeah, through God's love, mm -hmm. I guess, right? You guys kind of climbed your way back out of the hole and then you know from then on, once He gave you one chance, you know, you guys just never took it for granted, you know, and that's that's something that always resonated with me. Like I tell Leah all the time, like. Even through my lows, what I went through, you know what I mean, with mm -hmm. the accident, even with all that other stuff that I've been through. As I tell her all the time, okay, this is this is where we, you know, we put our faith yeah. in, in God and, you know what I mean, only Him can get us out of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, um, what do you call, somebody told me that, you know, God only tests those who can handle, who can um, handle the... What am I trying to say? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. exactly you know what, what you just said. Yeah. Who yeah. can handle the, the test. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Who can yeah. handle it. And, you, and that's why you, you talk to anybody who is yeah. strong in their faith. They tell you it's not the easiest life because God always seemed that like he's testing how faithful you are, how you know, he control these obstacles, obstacles. Yeah. He control these obstacles yeah. in front of you all the time. Not going to stop with just one. Yeah. Always going because he's going to make you continue yeah. for keep the fight in you mm -hmm. for stay faithful mm -hmm. and all that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, before I elaborate on um, my life with Aloha Airlines, um, I go and jump on what you just said. You know, and one of the most famous Bible stories there is is the story of Job. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he 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 said, "Ready on, test my guy, ready on." You know, put him to all your tests. I bet you he's not gonna fall though. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He lost his wife. He got sick and sores. Mm -hmm. You know. But it's exactly, exactly yeah. what, you know, you're talking about, right? You know, he going to test those who know that he can handle mm -hmm. you know, trials and tribulations, but it only make you stronger and closer, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> Back to Aloha Airlines. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, first of all, I got introduced. So, back then, uh, early 90s, Aloha Airlines was the job. Mm -hmm. Any airlines, that's yeah. the job. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You like you know you work for the airlines and you some you somebody. <clears throat> so drinking with uh, Papa Eddie um, and his cousin and the husband who works for the all airlines. So you know drink talk yeah oh yeah hey go I, I go hire you this and that. So yeah, true 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 to what he said. He I apply. He takes my application and puts it in front of his his boss. So he said oh, okay, we go drug test him. Okay, they call me up, take on a drug test. But I just don't smoke weed two days before. And I'm like, you know, going to the most, oh yeah, yeah, I never smoke. You know, talking to my wife and my father-in-law. You know, yeah, I never smoke. But in my, in my, in my head, I was like, but I ain't gonna pass. Mm -hmm. No way I'm gonna pass. I never have fake piss back then, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, I don't even know how to fake piss. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just saying. You know, facing here, I was like, okay. There you go, <laughs> you know. So I'm already thinking of the excuse of, you know what I mean, why I never pass. Boom, come back. Okay, Mr. Defense, you can stop, you know, next week. I'm wow. like, oh, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I took that as a blessing. I'm like, man, I'm gonna handle this. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna take this and run, and which I did. Which is what you said. You know what I mean? Earlier, I was never home. You know, I was hit. You know, what I mean, trying to make back lost time, lost revenue. You know, and then boom, the uh, my past caught up with me. They garnishing my check. You know, I'm working like you know close to sixty plus hours a week. You know. Bringing home like three hundred something dollars, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, got, thank God I was living with my in-laws and stuff. You know, but still slugging away. Um, you know, make it to like I don't forget what it's called, like lead part-time. I was like one of the first, the first part-time lead Aloha Airlines ever had on Maui. Um, it's a funny story. I mean. This is how my my life started as a commercial truck driver. Well, I was working at Roberts. Roberts said, "Oh, because you gotta go pick up the the greeters at the airport, you gotta take your license." So I take my license um, to them, and then Aloha Airlines. I'm I'm taking back um, in a break room because I came in early for work overtime with the full timers. I'm just a part timer. I've always been a part timer through my whole duration of Aloha Airlines. So this guy walks in, this Japanese guy, he's like, oh, okay, anybody like renew the hazmat? Come in the room. So I'm like, okay. So I go. Nobody says nothing. The Cause full you, cause, yeah, because you never have your hazmat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So back then, if somebody, one company vouched for you and they give you a little test, boom, you got your hazmat. It's not like how it is today. Mm-hmm. So I go in, talk, talk, talk. Everybody pass out one, you know, everybody pass kind of test. Fill in, write my name, turn it in. Don't think nothing of it. About two weeks later, I get called into the main office. There's a general manager over there. Same guy. I'm like, oh, okay. So my general manager tells me, hey, Kyle, yeah? Um, how come you even do this? So I go, well, I don't know. Um, this guy said, whoever, like, take the hazmat, you know, come in the room. And then the guy, the Japanese guy, said, like rambling like all piss off you know and it's not supposed to be for you it's only for full timers and then my manager looks at me and I go oh he never said that so he looks at the guy and he goes did you say that and the guy no answer so he goes oh well he signs the paper and that's how I got mm. hazardous material <laughs> on my license mm-hmm. oh yeah. oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> not, that's, that's how they speak it into existence right there. Like, yeah, and no, it's no. literally. Well, the is, nobody stopped you either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go. Until yeah, just somebody go. tell you yeah. no. But then the backlash, you know what I mean? The backlash from the full timers after was nuts. Mm-hmm. Really? You know I mean? Yeah, because I thought there, there was like, you know, my friends or whatever. Um, like, there was like, oh, you got to go, you got to go put fuel. That was it. No explanation how, why, what, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I got to go ask questions, get tidbits from everybody. And nobody giving you a straight answer. No. Mm-hmm. I kind of scrape my way yeah. through. Just say their name right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but fill, fill, fill the plane, spill, whatever. You know, but it was, it was a learning experience that, you know, I would never pass on to anybody that mm-hmm. I would train. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would never, never, like, treat anybody ill like that because yeah. I sure as hell never, like, being yeah, treated true, yeah. like that um so it's kind of touching back on aloha hey or yeah when you got your hazmat so i explained to because you told me before but yeah explain to like kurt them and everybody out there you know like where your your start of driving actual driving because i know you was a fan of the semi trucks mm-hmm. you know what i mean on a big truck what was your initial like entry your foot in to driving okay so after Aloha Airlines um, getting my hazmat and then also having, you know, to the bus company, my Type B, um, there was this um, ad that came to Maui News. Not, not Facebook, Maui News. <laughs> Maui News. Um, it says looking for a warehouse, a warehouse guy um, slash driver, um, loop driver. Um, and it was uh, Maui Oil Company. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so um, I apply and uh, I just let it be. In fact, uh, me and Auntie Rashawn was planning one uh, just on a weekend together um, on Oahu. 
So we went, and then uh, came home. Papa Eddie was like, oh my God, these guys was calling for you, this and that, interview, blah, blah, blah. So mind you, I still working at Aloha, and then also, you know, Robert Hawaii. <clears throat> Uh, so then uh, I called a number. It's uh, this guy, uh, Herb Horner. He tells me, oh, hey, you know, uh, we heard you're interested, got your application, can you come in for an interview? So I say, oh, yes, yes, yes I, I, I can. <clears throat> so I go in, have my interview, go upstairs, and I meet uh, the owner, Alex Sr. Uh, and then we have our interview, and then he looks, oh, you work for Aloha Airlines? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. So not knowing that he he's a pilot from, like, World War One, I believe. Excuse me. And then he used to uh, fly for the British, uh, yeah. Navy. Yeah, yeah, Navy. Or, or, yeah, yeah. Well, not Navy, but, yeah, Air Force. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he is very fond of um, airplanes in general. So he asked me this one question. So doesn't your, your parents fly free? Um, because you work at a lawyer lines, I go, oh yeah, they do. So if you take this job, what will happen to their benefits? I go, I don't know. <laughs> they gotta pay for their own. And then he sits back and he smiles. I go, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. So um, the following week, they call me back. They say, hey, you know, yeah, we wanna offer you the job. So I say, hey, cool, why right not? Now, mom wasn't on fat because again, you know. Uh, Allo Airlines, that was the place to work for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you know, mind you that, um, what, what is that? Um, what did I say? Sorry. Well, it was hard to get into there, too. Yeah. Allo well, Airlines at that time. Yeah. It was very and, hard. And, and, and for out of that, didn't they just start doing mainland flights? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it was like on, uh, like on prominent company to work for. Back then, same thing with the county and state. You know, that was that was the place. That was, job, yeah, that yeah. was the job. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but I felt that Maui Oyo was gonna be better for the future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, and they had trucks, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they had and they had trucks. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we agree, and you know, we stick it out, um, and it's been a blessing since. Yeah, you know, twenty plus years I don't know yeah man that's mean man yeah. 20 plus years oh, 20 you know? years yeah, that's, that's yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah I believe it yeah I just yeah. need 20 years cause so when you, you know, when you enjoyed My Oil that was before like My Oil wasn't even one main name like oh, anybody yeah. even knew about oh, it oh yeah man. no absolutely now everybody knows. but they had like one pump truck or something oh absolutely yeah and that was my truck right? yeah. they mm-hmm. had like one Ford you know mm-hmm. what I mean they had like two Fords one delivered lube that which I drive one that used to deliver um, gas to Hana mm-hmm. And all that, and then there were only like two drivers, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. Uncle Jamerson, yeah, and Gigi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who lives right next door? To me. <laughs> yeah, the Gigi. Yeah, 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 the Gigi. Yeah, and that was it. And then me, mm-hmm. you know. And um, now I think we're over a hundred plus employees. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's cool. You saw that process of building this company to what it is. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. No, definitely, and. Um, you know, I definitely miss, uh, I call him the old man, uh, the Alex Senior, um, and, you know, everybody else who went past through that contribute, you know, to the growth of Maui Oil. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout out Maui Oil. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Maui Oil is a choke. <clears throat> Uh, patience, bro. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, All I know is Mario had the best Christmas party, though. Ah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we yeah. was never invited. We would just go swim <laughs> on the day after. The day after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Should, Tut, Tut would never get invited when she was at the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I swear I saw her one of our Christmas parties. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she was. So she probably she was. She never like she invite was. us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, oh, so yeah, so so going from Lou. To being the Hana guy, like you know, what was yeah. that? What was that journey? Um, the journey was kind of scary, you know, from lubes to driving into Hana. Um, but again, it's because you know I I love driving truck. Mm-hmm. So to me, it, it wasn't one challenge. It was yeah. like on you know was was, it was uh, an honor. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no, honestly, yeah. 
You know what I mean? I was I was able and willing. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I want to go. Yeah, yeah. I want to go. You didn't even have your A yet, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I had my A when oh, I started oh. going in Hana. Oh no, no, yeah. I mean like when you first started no. working at my oil. No, 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 no. Yeah, and um, when I started, um, there was this brother, um, Daniel Fotero, who kind of took a liking to me. Not in that way. You guys are going to say something. So, uh, I might make a little real off of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, that, that when that when trained me. Mm-hmm. You know, when trained me for my type A. And um, because he ended up being our dispatcher. And uh, yeah, that's how I got my A. Mm-hmm. Uh, which in turn, I trained other drivers like um, Dustin. Um, Jake. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Makamai. Yeah. The you know, hammer. Makamai the yeah. hammer. You know, just um painting it for it. Yeah, know? yeah. You know? That's cool. Yeah. So what then, go, go. what what you do for my oil now? Um now I am that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do for my oil? Nah, just joking. I know what exactly <laughs> what I do. <laughs> I am uh I'm in charge of fleet facility. And also um, driver training. Oh, nice. Mm, yeah. nice. Yeah, because I know a lot of the people that are trying to get driver training, they, they're trying to hit you up. So Yeah. Right on, Ox. Keep, mm. keep teaching them how to drive. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, so what it is, um, I believe February 7, 2022, that's when they mandated, like, guarantee um, anybody who goes for their CDL has to go to one certain individual which they call a training provider. Um, and it has to ha- go through a certain curriculum because mm-hmm. I think as the feds, um, they're trying to make sure that whoever goes for a commercial driver's license, they get some sort of like knowledge, like the same across the board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then I became one of those guys. Oh, nice. Yeah. How often, like now today, like how often you get behind the wheel of a drive truck now only for this guy right here <laughs> yeah, cheap labor be eh? hauling cheap labor. be hauling it all cheap cheap. labor yeah. <laughs> you would say like now you love driving truck as much as you used to of course yeah yeah i That's still awesome. do yeah. oh yeah i mean he he's the reason why i'm even mm-hmm. truck I even yeah. have my company because you know when it first started because my dad always wanted one trucking you know trucking company mm-hmm. right and then me and him finally click and you know, got a Sam, Tobise. I remember that one trip up Vegas, I was yeah. trying to go look and I was gonna move Vegas. Like I was just gonna drive up there. And then Sam told me, he was like, bro, you could just grab one tow truck and yeah. go start with like, you know, doing the machines at Sunbelt, like the small machines that yeah. nobody really, you know, like nobody really, yeah, nobody really like do. Yeah. And I kind of found my niche right there. And then, um, yeah, through him and my dad, you know, vers- like putting me in a position where I okay, can Boy, we're gonna give you everything you need. You just gotta show up and do mm-hmm. the damn job. Yeah. And you know, now we're here today. You know, striving, driving, trying to, you know, still trying to get to that one point. Yeah. But hey, you know, guys, they they trust the name. They hear our name. Yeah. They they trust it. So you know, that's great. Model kill yeah. cool, but also, yeah. you know, my dad was the one that kind of was like, remember you used to take me driving on the semis. Yeah. The kind of like I said, either was sitting on your lap or. Something to where, like, I'm driving, and my dad's, like, on the passenger seat, like, shifting. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, bro, that was already, like... That's what you wanted Yeah, to like, bro, that was yeah. super cool. You know, yeah. and especially when he used to roll up with the rig somewhere, wherever we would see him. But, yeah, even from Papa, Papa Matt. Yeah. When he used to come with that county truck, that dumb truck. He dropped me off one time at Carl Louis School. Bro, I thought I was the coolest guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but just yeah. roll up in a dumb truck, boys. What's up? What you guys doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I think, you know, from what Bryson said, you know, whatever your passion is, you know, you know what I mean? Just go for it. Yeah. You know, if if it, if that's your passion, um, kind of hard to fail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. no matter what level you, you're at, you know, as long as you love doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Then easy. Then, easy for yeah. wake up every day. Do that. To yeah. do what yeah. you love. Yeah. yeah. And that's with everything, everything in life, no matter if it's sports, entertainment, you know, just um, owning a company, being a worker at a job that you like, you know, just yeah. you got to be full 100% dedicated. Yeah. And that's, 
if you're not dedicated to it 100 percent you know don't do it do, yeah. do something that you really yeah. really love because you can try it yeah. right about yeah mm -hmm. and you know being on trainer is not easy mm -hmm. you know um you deal with um brand new you know what i mean um i always tell everybody um I always tell everybody, nobody was uh, born or a driver. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody learned at diff different um, capacities. Mm -hmm. In fact, just today, I was at um, Polynesian Adventure Tours. So that's one of the companies that I um, help with um, driver training. And there was this um, one lady uh, that she was going to training since September. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but never give up. You know what I mean? Never give up. Um, you know, for whatever reason, stopped coming and then came back and, you know, stopped coming again. And uh, long story short, yesterday she got her license. Hey, yeah. Right, yeah. right on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just kind of quit. Kind of quit. And, you know, for me, that brings the most joy when, you know, so a person like that who perseveres yeah you know struggling yeah, after it, so. yeah because the joy that they show you know after that they've accomplished something that they they they, they said came out of her own mouth that no way you know what i mean that she thought that she couldn't never ever because mm -hmm. people learn differently you know obtain obtain this and she did yeah you know that's that's the payoff yeah, yeah. you know yeah. that's the payoff right there you know if you guys if you guys, when you guys, you know, come of age, um, like my age, <laughs> um, you know, we are all stewards, you know, we're all there to help other people, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's the goal. That's, yeah. that's the goal that Jesus wanted. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. No, nah, nah, definitely what you saying that and even like how I coach kids and stuff, that same thing. Like, yep. you know, I, yep. I love seeing them thrive in whatever sports they're playing, and yeah. you know, then they send me videos of them, you know, they tag me, and I'm, them just killing it. It's like, ah, that's you putting in that work, man. Yeah. Just keep, you know, keep yeah. grinding, keep putting in that work, man. Yep. Yeah. And you're gonna be that guy, man. Yeah. Promise you. You just gotta put in the work. Yeah. And it, it it always comes back. Believe me, it always comes back. Yeah. You know, if you give wholeheartedly, you know, unconditionally, you know, gonna come back. Ten folds. Yeah, mm. definitely. You know, and, and that's that's what people see. Yeah. When they when they when they look at, I believe when they look at me and they ask, you know how the hell, I don't know, you know I just go to life. Yeah. You yeah. know. Or well, like how the hell you you was, the play your punk and how you Made became you know yeah. Kyle mm -hmm. DeFranti the the truck driver in, in mm -hmm. um, truck driver trainer and all that somebody who is like how you said. Uh, somebody who is one of the few men and women that you gotta go through for get one license. You know what I mean? Like coming from there, that whole thing is just off of you know one God, God, yeah, you know got you there, and then also just not you know not giving up ever. Yeah. Even yeah. though obstacles are always there. Yeah. Always there, and yeah, that's what I find. All the stories you tell me in Chile, mm -hmm. like it's like because you know you guys provided a life for me in Chile to where mm -hmm. we never. Yeah, we never have to go through all the struggles that you and mom went through, and I'm thankful for that. Every I, don't, I wouldn't change my life for anything. I'm very thankful for that. But also, when you tell me those stories, it makes me, nowadays, as I'm mature, it makes me super grateful for where I am and not be, um, not be like, uh, take it for granted. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to take them for granted. I'm not going to cruise them because ah, nah, my dad them when set on path for us yeah we get them mm -hmm. like negative like no this can go away any day as we've yeah. come to know you know what I mean yeah. with my accident and stuff yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. even with that being said like I mean we get kids too so now yeah. you know we gotta do the same pave the way yeah, yeah. same thing like our, our parents have paved the way and now it's our turn for paving yeah. the way for them yeah. you know? and so, you know, with my daughter Presley shout out baby um, you know like what I was telling you on the way down she Gives me like the energy. Like, so, say if I get a long day of hauling, you know, doing all kinds of stuff, you know, I think of her and I think of Aaliyah. I think of all the, the trips that like, I, mm -hmm. I like take them on, think of all the things that I like, her be able for do. You know, it gives me the extra boost for now. You know what, okay, yeah, I go pick them up or yeah, I can deliver this right mm -hmm. now in Lahaina, even mm -hmm. though I went mm -hmm. out there three times. <laughs> you know, like yeah. all yeah. that, all that. Yeah. 
that, no, that 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 is awesome. As, as, you know, that tells me that you know you you've been listening and you know you've been paying attention and you know <laughs> not you, all the time. Yeah, but yeah. I, I know. I, I said, you know, what I, mean? I, I never say that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at least at least you know you have it in you. Mm -hmm. You know, you have it in you to uh, provide. Yeah. You know, um, so with my company. Um, we go to a lot of functions and, you know, a lot of tournaments, golf mm -hmm. tournaments and stuff. And, you know, I always try to tell entrepreneurs like yourself, young entrepreneurs, you know, I always say that um, I always see the same companies, you know, donating, you know, the, the old companies, Gomes, Goodfellows, Rojack, you know, everybody donate to their, their, their Maui Oil. You know, you know, it's um, I think about when those companies are gone, who will take their place mm -hmm. for donate to the Boys and Girls Clubs, mm -hmm. to donate, you know, to all these kids um, that depend, mm -hmm. you know, on these fundraisers and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. So you being on business owner, I just ask that, you know, yeah, right on, you think about your daughter, you know, but if you can, you know, you think about you know, other children as yeah. well. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Definitely. Oh, that's, you know, that's deep. Okay. That's deep, yeah. And then even like with Real Talk Maui, man, if we ever get to some place where we can give back to, you know, of course. the people oh, yeah. of Maui that's and even the kids of Maui, man, of yeah. course we give it all back, man, because yeah. that's, what, that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. So, yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Set so yeah. the next generation Exactly. Out. It's not yeah. about you. You lived your life. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. It's, 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 time, it's, time, yeah. it's time to pass it on, mm -hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good way for think about like look at I mean not look at life, but you know, we've had our fun, we've had our days. Mm -hmm. Our not our time has passed, but you know, we come to a certain age like, yeah, you know, give back. Mm -hmm. you know, give back. Everything we do now is not even for us, it's for the next generation. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know? yeah. But yeah. I think that's one good one for close on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, but Ox. Thank you for coming in, you know. Yeah. Thank you for coming on our podcast, you know. Right on, Dad. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Right we had fun tonight, you know. Good yeah. fun. But know. um before we close, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any. yeah. Yeah, like shout out um my granddaughters Kailea and uh Kalai. <laughs> Automatic Kailea yeah. and, and uh, Presley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Presley. <laughs> Chalet, you know. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. And you know, we we said my you know, anti Rashawn as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Mahalo, okay, cool. Yeah. And mahalo to you boys. Yeah. You know, keep it real. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. So don't forget to like and subscribe, bro. Definitely. I like how you always add that, bro. I love it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like and subscribe, bro. Yeah. We're keeping it real, bro. We're going to keep pushing for Maui, man. That's automatic. But yeah. Shots. Other than that, yep. Shots after this, bro. Real talk Maui, bro. We out of here. That's all. Thank all you. Right.